Jew who entered Mecca. Saudi authorities arrest accomplice. Recently, footage of Jewish Israeli American reporter Gil Tam Tamari, Tamari filming himself in Mecca has outraged Saudis and Muslims across the world. In Saudi Arabia, non Muslims are strictly prohibited from entering the city known as Islam's most holy site. Tamari made it clear that he intentionally slipped into Mecca. He boasted of being the first Jewish man from Israel to enter the religiously bound city, although he didn't clarify to the driver of about his origins during the recording, recording period. Mecca Regional Police Department detained and charged Tamari's driver with, uh, for alleged complicity in helping the entry of a non-Muslim to the holy site. Uh, Esavi Friej, Israel's regional regional cooperation minister, who is also a Muslim, called the stunt, quote, stupid and harmful to the goal of normalizing ties with the Gulf region. After much condemnation, both the reporter and the Israeli channel that aired the footage posted an apology on Twitter. Tamari knew that what he was doing was illegal, but insisted that he wanted to showcase, quote, a place that is so important to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Wait, so... He he got arrested. Did you, this guy is this guy like suicidal? Like that sounds okay. very scary. So he didn't get arrested. This Israeli American reporter went into Saudi Arabia to report on Biden's Middle East trip. Now, let's be clear: there are a lot of historic Saudi Israeli things going on, but he entered on his American passport. Israelis are not allowed to enter on their passport. So the only reason why this Israeli was able to enter even and report this in the first place is because he has an american citizenship so while he was there to report on biden's trip he went to mecca <laughs> he he slipped away and he went to mecca and um he filmed it and it was aired on the israeli news channel that he works for and people lost their mind <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so he uh, he already he had already left the country when he did that, right? Yeah, when it was posted. So, and he's probably okay. never going to return. I mean, he has facing charges, and yes. it, so it was the person who drove him into Mecca. I know, was, but still, it still takes. You know, I kind of did. I I pulled a stunt like this in in Israel. Yeah, you like did. It, <laughs> so this guy is like final yeah. boss level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I went to a place where only Muslims could go. Okay. But I had, like, I had my passport showing that I was born in Tehran. I had my Canadian passport, but it had shown that I was born in Tehran. And I claimed that I was a Muslim, and I recited the... But they checked, right? Like, I recited two sur surahs. Uh, I did the shahada, and they, they believed that I was a Muslim, right? And I had, I think I had the look and everything, right? Uh, I made sure, I, uh, you know, so... But, like, but anyway, this is, like, but, I, but that was in uh, Jerusalem, right? I was mm -hmm. still on Israel, like so. I, I assumed like nothing could happen to me. There's like Israeli army here and stuff. This is in Saudi Arabia. This guy, like, I don't understand. Like, if he, if people around there like need, figured out, like he was surrounded by, like, I don't know. I, I just think. Oh yeah, it's think, crazy. It's, it's crazy. crazy. But what did the poor driver? Why did they arrest the driver? The driver didn't do anything. Like, I'm never supposed to know. No, How am I supposed to know it was illegal? No, but did he in, knew that this the, guy was a Jew? In the footage, they go up to Mount Arafat, and oh. like, there's a very specific time in the footage where he like is looking around, gives them a signal that they need to get out of there, and he's like, "This is very dangerous. Like, this is illegal. We gotta go." Okay, well then, why did he release that part that showed that the driver knew? He should have taken you know, that part a good out. Question. Like this man just put that driver in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, what, I okay. should. Really... Yeah. Go ahead. What were we gonna say? I should one day release the videos that I have and how I secretly made it into. I have recording. I have recording of. Norman, the fact me. that you haven't released that already is such a shame. Like you could have had such a bombshell about this atheist infiltrating Al Aqsa that you're sitting yeah. on. Yeah, I don't know even know where the recordings are. I'm gonna go find it. Yeah. Like, not just an atheist in general, but an Islamic apostate specifically. Like yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's huge. <laughs> That's yeah, huge. I should do that. I should do. I should go do that. Um, I want to show you something, by the way. 
this is how it works in Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah, he so, showed this in the video. Yeah, like for example, you go on the road, and this go, this is the road, this is the street, um, the highway that is going to Mecca, and you have the sign in red says, like, if you're not a Muslim, you can you stop going this way. So you have to exit here. Yeah, Muslims exit here. So like you're driving in the highway in Saudi Arabia and the street, the highway that is going towards Mecca, you see like, hey, like, have you ever seen a sign that tells you which direction you have to go based on your religion? In Saudi Segregates Arabia, you you, have, you're driving down the highway, a segregated yeah. highway. <laughs> tariq, I think it's saying Tariq Qayr al muslimin so the way for non-Muslims, right? The sign that says here, also you can see, oh, most, oh, this one says only Muslims. This you can only only Muslims can take this route. So Mecca weird. only for Muslim. Yeah. I think I really take for granted the fact that I just assume that other people will find this extremely weird and how openly discriminatory it is. I think I really just take that for granted because the fact that like. I don't know. It's so weird to me to discriminate against people and entire like and just be like, you can't come to the city. What? Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of like not talked about. And the reasons why are not talked about because when I was reading about this in Al Jazeera, they're like, oh yeah, Muslim non-Muslims are not allowed to enter Mecca just because of rituals around, you know, like purity and cleanliness. Mm. Or like because because of like you know we have a specific code of conduct people have to know how to act blah 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 you know we have certain standards and I'm like no it's because you think non-Muslims are najes like no you know but it's because Muhammad's hadith Muhammad before he died one of his last hadith was one of the last sayings of Prophet Muhammad was that Muslims uh, non-Muslims will never enter this land okay and there's a debate on what that means oh Susie, I'm gonna put it down because your avatar is right um because muhammad didn't clarify what land he meant means some people say it's just mecca some other people say that it's the entirety of saudi arabia in fact this is why we had 9 11. i wish Susie was here because i wanted to see her reaction on this okay the reason why we had 9 11 was because um saudi arabia allowed united states military into saudi arabia okay and this is what turned al-qaeda against saudi arabia and that the whole drama because al-qaeda was al-qaeda's mission was to uh, fight the russians in afghanistan right fight the soviet union but this turned their the fact that the saudi government allowed Americans on Saudi Arabia against this Islamic Hadith, like allowing Americans in the holiest place on earth, according to them, turned them there because they were, so Al-Qaeda was in Afghanistan fighting non-Muslims on Islamic land. They're like, Afghanistan is Muslim land and these, these atheists should not, do not belong there. So we're saving Muslim land. And while they were fighting there, because this was such a no-no. Back at home, the, the not a Muslim land, the Muslim land, were all of a sudden just entering Saudi space because of um, Americans were just coming in and just like chilling in Saudi Arabia because they were attacking Saddam. And they're like, what are you doing? So this turned them against the United States and that's why we have 9-11. So this whole idea, but again, so their belief is that all of Saudi Arabia is no no for non Muslims, not just Mecca, because Muhammad didn't make it clear. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. we're getting a notification in our live chat that someone just made a donation. Oh, wait, let me pull up our live chat really quickly. 200 something. Oh, the uh, the no Swedish Krona, 200 Swedish Krona. Well, thank you so much, no name. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, no name. That's actually a good reminder Aww. to everyone that at Atheist Republic, because we are a nonprofit through YouTube, we have charitable donations, which means that 100% of what you send goes to Atheist Republic. They cover all the transfer costs, and um, it's a great way to support what we do here. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And, and he also sent us, he or she sent us a heart. 
Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.